This is Jen from Thread Honey, and today I'm going to show you how to do the chain stitch. The technique we're going to do today is technically a reverse chain stitch, but it's a simple and beginner friendly way to create the end chain result. Start by putting a knot at one end of your thread and bring your needle from the back of the hoop to the front. Create a small stitch. Next from the back of the hoop, take your needle one stitch length distance away and bring the needle from the back to the front. Slide your needle horizontally on top of the fabric and bring the needle underneath your first stitch. You'll then bring the needle from the front of the hoop to the back, going back through the hole you just pulled your thread through. This creates the chain shape. You'll again bring your needle from the back of the hoop to the front after you've gone a stitch length distance away, and you'll now slide the needle underneath the chain shape you just made. You'll again go through the same hole that you just brought your needle through. You'll repeat this process, again bringing the needle from the back to the front, sliding it underneath the last chain, and then putting it back through. The chain stitch is a thick and durable stitch that is great for working on clothing. This stitch creates a unique texture that works well when monogramming or creating rows of stitches. On the straight line, I'm using all six strands of an embroidery floss skein. On the curved line, I'm gonna use three strands and you can see the difference between the two. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more embroidery video tutorials, patterns, kits, and supplies, you can visit my website at thethreadhoney.com. I'm also on Instagram at threadhoney.